Today on this 2004 Honda CRV, we're going to install part number 43105 from Hopkins. Okay, our connector is going to be inside the vehicle, so we're going to open up the back door and go ahead and remove the interior floor coverings, the panel underneath, and then also the liner in the spare tire well. Next, we'll go ahead and remove a threshold behind it. Now there's two plastic rivets. If you push down on the center of a rivet, you can pull it out much easier. And then we'll apply steady pressure from the bottom and pop up the threshold. Once we have a threshold up and out of the way, we can loosen up the panel on the driver's side. To gain access behind it, we'll need to remove the fastener securing the driver's side quarter panel. Using a trim panel tool, we'll gently pry up the panel to get access behind it. Now it may be helpful to go ahead and pull away the door seal a little bit as well to get your tool behind it. We'll loosen up from the top and from the sides and gently pull back. Now there's also a 12 volt power supply. The outlet tends to catch on the inside sheet metal, so be careful as you work it out. Once we have the panel moved enough, we can go ahead and see the connector in blue tape wrapped to the wire harness. We'll go ahead and unwrap the tape and then plug in our new plug and tow connector. All we gotta do is just plug it into, snap it in place, and tuck the wire back in. Next, we'll take a moment to secure the, the converter box with a zip tie to existing wiring inside the vehicle. And then we can go ahead and reinstall our interior components. Okay, when everything's reinstalled, we'll go ahead and try out the four pole connector. First off, we'll go ahead and show you how to use it. We'll go ahead and pull it out and shut the door on it. You can see how the door seal moves to help give away for the wiring, so it won't hurt it. Now we'll go ahead and try it out. We'll take a ground from our tester and hook it up to the white lead. Then we'll go ahead and test a brown wire for a running light circuit. Next, we'll go ahead and try our yellow wire for left turn and our green wire for the right turn circuit. Then our brake signal will be a constant green and yellow. Okay, it looks like everything's working, so that'll finish it for our install of part number 43105 from Hopkins on our 2004 Honda CRV.